in the beginning, 20 billion BC. Don't ask me and don't tell me I was there. It was a bang and it was big. I don't know what went before I came out with it. Think about that if you want my credentials. Think about that, me, it. Imagine it, as I recall it now, swinging in my space-time hammock, nibbling a moon or two, watching you. What am I? You don't know. It doesn't matter. I am the witness. I am not in the dock. I love matter and I love antimatter. Listen to me. Listen to my patter. Oh, what a day, if it was day, that was. It was as if a fist had been holding fast, one dense packed particle too hot to keep, and the fingers had suddenly sprung open, and the burning coal, the radiant mechanism, had burst and scattered the seeds of everything. Me, you, Andromeda, the dog next door, out through what was now space, out into the pulse of time, out, my masters, out, my friends, so, like a darting shoal, like a lion's roar, like greyhounds released, like blown dandelions, like Pandora's box, like a shaken cornucopia, like an ejaculation. I was amazed at the beauty of it all, those slowly cooling rosy clouds of gas, wave upon wave of hydrogen and helium, spirals and rings and knots of fire, silhouettes of dust in towers, thunderheads, tornadoes, and then the stars, and the blue glow of starlight, lapis lazulying the dust grains. I laughed, rolled like a ball, flew like a dragon, zigzagged and dodged the clatter of meteorites as they clumped and clashed and clustered into whirls, into this best clutch of nine, whirled in the corrivrecken of a sun. The universe had only just begun. I'm off, my dears. My story is still to run. <laughs> <laughs>